how to do a factory reset on a Feroli Blue Helix Tech. First thing we need to do is we keep your finger on the reset button. You get a little squiggly Tetris sign. When the screen changes, let go of the button. Then we're going to put a code in, one, two, three. The left button twice to two. The right plus button, press it three times. That's the code, one, two, three. Press the reset button. So you go to TS, transparent parameters. Press the reset button again. And we're going to go to parameter B29 by pressing the left plus button. If you keep your finger pressing the button, it goes faster. Press it once at a time, it will go slower. If you want to get, get it to B29, this is for a factory reset, and this will get rid of a lot of problems on the boiler. You're going to press the right plus button, it will show zero, and you want to get that to number 10. There you go. Then, then we press the left plus button to enter it, and keep your finger pressing the reset button. You get a little Tetris squiggly nine. When you see the screen change, let go of the button. There you go, screen change, let go of the button. Now we need to turn it off for 10 seconds at the power. And it'll start itself up, back up again. So leave it for about 10 seconds. Switch the power back on. Get your finger pressed on the off button. When it all lights up, let go. Then you'll get capital FH come on. This will take about 20 seconds instead of about 5 minutes when it's got small FH. This will get rid of things like if you've got really bad readings on your flu, you can do this. You can do this a couple of times and it get rid of the bad readings. Your factory is at the board. Um, you can also go to another video, recalibrate and always make sure you check the readings on the flu. If you put the hot tap on for a couple of minutes, get the boiler warmed up, and then you'll get the actual real readings. That's how you do a factory reset on the Froli Blue Helix Tech.